Hey guys, uh, today I am going to tell the story of how I came to purchase our new mower. Um, our old mower was a uh, self-propelled unit that uh, I had bought at our old house. Um, it's probably seven or eight years old, uh, but still had lots of life left in it. But uh, I got a call from my parents that their mower had died and they were asking, you know, what did you think of your mower? Like, you know, just basically getting our opinion and you know particularly the self-propelled uh, component because my father had heart surgery last year and they have a fairly big property and they were finding it you know a bit of a hassle or he was finding it a little tough to push so anyway long story short i said you guys have my uh, push mower um you know it still has life and if it doesn't last you know a couple of years at least you got a couple of years out of it um so that set me about planning to get a new mower. Part of the reason was um, in our new house, our old house, it would take me an hour to do with the self-propelled. And we had a big property. The new house is more in the city. We've traded off land for, you know, uh, I guess proximity to amenities. But our property now, I'm mowing it in about 15 minutes. And I don't find the self-propelled really does anything for me anyway. Um, when I bought it, I felt like I was treating myself, but I actually preferred, before that I had like probably the cheapest, you know, $100 gas mower that you could buy, but it was so light and tossable and, you know, I'm young and fit enough that I didn't mind pushing it myself. I, I bought this self-propelled thing thinking, oh, I'm treating myself. And I just found, you know, it, it weighed a ton, just even lifting it from where I stored it to get it onto the grass. It was like, you know, three or four times as much weight. And then, you know, it, it was hard to do angles and hills and things. So anyway, long story short, when I'm going about planning to buy the new mower, I immediately was thinking I'm gonna buy the cheapest gas mower and get myself back to that, you know, quick tossability. But then uh, my father-in-law actually uh, had picked up a couple of um, the push mowers that don't use gas and he suggested I try those. And uh, I actually gave them a shot and they did an okay job. Um, it wasn't fantastic. I've got a little bit of footage. Um, I found that they did a very good job of cutting grass, but they wouldn't cut anything else. So if there was like, you know, a dandelion or a weed or something sticking up, it would just like, it almost like seemed like it had a sensor where it would cut a blade of grass, but it would leave everything else. So you'd end up doing a string trimmer on the whole yard afterwards. It was like, you know, twice as much work. I asked one of my neighbors who had a push mower, you know, what do you think, like, if I ended up buying a new one, would I be happy? And he said, no, he said, I, I don't like mine either. Um, so then I don't know how I even got onto the idea of an electric, um, like a battery powered or, you know, I guess plug in, but I wasn't considering plug in. Um, but probably just from research, I'm a research guy. I jumped on, you know, some various sites that review mowers and, and Amazon, of course. And uh, so I got started going down this path of uh, battery powered and the pricing is pretty much on par with an inexpensive gas mower. You can get a battery powered. So I, uh, I was checking out uh, Amazon and some of the local sites and Canadian Tire, I'm in Canada, had a sale on a particular model. Um, it was like, well, it's right here. <laughs> I'll just pull it over. This is the one that I bought. So it is it's the empty box. I've already opened it. And I'll show you the opening there. But uh, yeah, it's a 40 volt. Um, they do have uh, this 40 volt battery that you get. Um, they've got a whole line of things that it fits in. That's kind of the, the spiel with the screen works is that this battery, I don't know if it should be, yeah, 25 plus, you know, various things that you can plug it into. Um, so this is, I think, a fairly lower end version of their mower. It does have a 19 inch cutting deck, which uh, from what I was looking, you can get like really small 16, 17. Um, that was why I ended up kind of deciding to jump on it because this was priced on sale the same as the absolute smallest, cheapest one that you could get. I think that's the only thing that it has that those ones don't. Um, yeah, so anyway. Um, I am going to skip now, now that you know the backstory, to the unboxing. And I'll give you a, like my first impressions and uh, once I've used it for a little bit, my kind of you know medium term impressions. What's in the box? Got the uh, 
the chute, which I've heard is relatively small. I don't intend to use it. Got a battery, or some hardware. That feels like the battery, actually. That one's heavier. Yeah. Instruction manual should be fairly straightforward. And then, uh, yeah, it's pretty much completely pre-assembled. The, the rest of it's the mower. All right, we have it out of the box. It's a two-handed operation. And just Noticing uh, as I'm putting this together, the upper handles went together pretty easily, but the uh, bottom section looks like, like to me, put this over to me, it looks like it's off center. I don't know if that's capturing it, but it looks like it's kind of cantered off to the left. But the upper things went together really easily. You know, these uh, these levers popped right in. The bottom one, this one screwed right in, and I can loosen it back off, no problem. Went in nice and tight. This one, as you can see, is on like a pretty steep angle, and I don't know if I can capture it in the video, but there's a lot of thread there, and I cannot get that to twist. Like, I feel like there might be something wrong here, that kind of got damaged in, uh, in transit, but this is supposed to be, I think, I think it's supposed to be a little further over to the left, allowing for that to be tightened up more. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit, but uh, this might be a fail on uh, on my first my first try here. So we'll see. All right. So I just spent uh, a good ten minutes with a crowbar and a rubber glove, just basically reshaping that um, so that it would slot in there a bit better. Um, it's still to me appears to be slightly off to the left but we'll give it a go we'll see uh, see how it works I noticed uh, after I got it adjusted these screws are actually on a bit of an angle so you know there's I guess that's intentional but this was definitely like bent at a bad you know a bad angle something happened in shipping I'm guessing you know they're Probably not the most careful with these things. So anyway, let's grab the battery, get it thrown in there. So we can grab the battery here. It did come out of the box fully charged, but who knows whether that's legit. So I'll throw this in here, see how she works. All right, so let's see, there's the, let's see it has like a little receiver. We most likely have power. So press and hold, pull, release button. So one. Okay. So that uh, press. things I'm already really impressed with uh, with the mower is uh, the weight. My old mower would not but near that easily. Got a height adjustment on here. Alright. Let's do a couple passes here and see how it does.
seems to have made short work of the uh, the grass here. Um, got a little bit of clover up ahead. Let's just have a look and see how it down. Backyard is done uh, very well. Didn't miss the uh, lack of self propelled at all. I'll leave the mower here, reset up the camera for the front yard. It's still doing the job and it's a testament to the uh, the amount of volume that it puts out that I can actually record this while mowing. We're done. That uh, took, uh, you know, about as long as it normally does, maybe slightly less time. Uh, it's very, very tossable. That's one of the reasons I wanted to go with either the cheapest gas I could find or an electric is I wanted something that, you know, is easy to throw around, but uh, yeah. Hey guys, I just finished uh, mowing the lawn. Well, I had a shower obviously, but uh, I think it's my third or fourth time mowing the lawn with the, the new mower. And I gotta say, I've been really happy. Um, you know, you hopefully just watched some footage of you know how it works uh, that first day that I tried it. But uh, now that I've done it a few times, it, it's working great. I love the electric starts super easy, uh, not having to, you know, every time I would use my old mower, I would put fuel in so you get it all over your hands and all over everything. Um, so yeah, I'm enjoying the benefits of electric. Um, I did obviously have that hiccup when I first got it and the uh, setting it up. And I can see that being a deal breaker for some people or at least, you know, causing them to return it and get a new one. Um, in Greenworks Defense, my box, I noticed uh, after the fact that it does have a little bit of like an accordion on the end here, which means that it probably fell off of a truck or something. So, uh, you know, I don't think they all come like that because it was a well rated mower online. Um, but as far as the performance, I've been really happy with it. I gotta say, uh, if you are considering one of these, then I would say, you know, take my word for it, I guess, that uh, you should give it a shot. The only thing that still weighs on my mind is, is this a mower that I'm going to be using 10 years from now? Because the one I gave my parents, I used it for, you know, at least eight years, maybe closer to 10 years. And with regular servicing, I was able to gift it to them and hopefully they'll get you know, some additional years of use out of it. And I just, maybe it's old school thinking, but I feel like a gas mower, you can service it, you do the oil changes and so on. And a gas engine will last indefinitely if well serviced. I just don't know with electric, uh, how long this thing's gonna last. Am I gonna be mowing my lawn with the same mower and the same battery in 2028? Uh, something in the back of my mind says probably not. Uh, at least the battery will probably need to be replaced, but you know, time will tell, and I guess that's a video for another day. But uh, as far as what I thought I was getting, 
it, it totally delivered. I'm really happy. And, uh, you know, I guess hopefully you've learned something watching this video that you didn't already know and it helps you make your own decision. But uh, if you're on the fence and leaning this way anyway, I would say this is a great mower, a great, uh, a great way to go. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, give me a like and uh, we'll see you on the next one.